what is up guys and welcome back to the channel I had this video recommended to me we got neil degrasse degrasse tyson explaining the metric system uh i told y'all definitely have to learn more about the metric system as i prepare to travel to europe and getting that plan um, i feel like i got maybe a couple of weeks left before i receive my uh passport so definitely excited for that so y'all stay tuned for that announcement hey hit that subscribe button send down those recommendations and let's check out the metric system explain so chuck uh-huh yeah i'm back at it all right Seen these two let's, before. let's go there so are you old enough to remember when the united states attempted to convert to the metric system? Thank God, no. That had to, because I'm so glad it worked out. <laughs> so I joke about this because back then and today, um, drug dealers have always been metric. <laughs> right. Just think about That's that. That's a fact. They, they don't sell cocaine in pounds, that's in kilos. That's right. That's so, right. That'd, so. Dang. That'll get you the same, that, that'll that get you another measurement of time. <laughs> <laughs> that make a lot of sense. Dang, I never thought about that. Measurement of time. <laughs> <laughs> One that Einstein had and hadn't explored yet. Right? That's right. You go. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so I've heard people joke that if we had put drug lords as head of the metric commission in the United States, we all would have been metric within months. Right. Uh, As, wait, are you talking that oh. afternoon? <laughs> that afternoon. <laughs> that afternoon we'd have been one hundred percent metric and and high. <laughs> what I'm trying to communicate oh is that we're not as bad as it may seem. We are much farther along than we even admit to ourselves in this conversion. I just want to sort of put it out there, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. Because hmm. right? I don't want you to feel bad about this. Now, I, as a scientist, we're metric from the beginning. Right. That's not even a thing. Engineers are a little later in the, in, the, in the listing, but scientists, we speak internationally, we, and that's the international uh, system that gets used, okay? Right. So, in fact, it's called Système International, the SI system of units. The meter, the kilogram, the second is in there, but everybody uses the second. So, so the, you know, the French came up with the metric system. Did you know this? No wonder we don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> but Chuck, Chuck. Hey, sorry to my uh, my uh, French, my peoples from France that are probably watching this right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Chuck, Chuck. When you get this editorial comment. <laughs> so it got implemented in 1789. And what was happening then in France? 1789. Yeah. 89. In part inspired by what happened in the United States. Uh, was that the Bastille storming and all that yeah, good the, stuff? The French Revolution, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. So part of that sort of overthrowing of all previous order that was the occasion. If you're going to do it, that's a good time to do it. Right. In addition to the rolling heads, you throw in the metric system. We and... need a way to figure out how these heads <laughs> roll faster. <laughs> oh how is God. it that we get the head to roll faster? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do not put the basket down. Let it roll, and we shall measure in a new way. <laughs> Oh my god. I see the head go from My guy over here straight trolling the French. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I see the head go from the guillotine all the way down. <laughs> as I smoke a cigarette and watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's exactly how it happened. Yes. <laughs> all right. So. They, uh, so do you know the original definition of a meter? No. Okay, so somebody had to come up with that, right? Right. I mean, it's pretty obvious a foot is somebody's foot, mm. right, in the, in, the, in the imperial units. But a meter was one ten millionth the distance from the North Pole to the equator 
on a path that went through the Paris Observatory. Mm. So that's that's how it began, and that they became standardized. Then they created an artifact out of platinum and iridium, an alloy of those two, and that there was an etch mark on one end and on the other, and that was the length of the meter that you can go and reference it uh, in France uh, so that you can then take a meter home with you that was the mm. correct length. So that's an example. And they had a, an object called the kilogram, and it's in a vault, and there it is, one kg. All right, but point is, it had a beginning, mm -hmm. and all this metric beginning was in 1789. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so here we are in the United States, and we, we kind of have metric envy, a combination of metric envy and and imperial pride. Uh, facts. All right? We're using Fahrenheit and inches and meters and cups and tablespoons, and we're damn proud of it. But... At the end of the day, I think it's like, yeah, maybe we kind of want a little bit of metric in our lives. So I just want to impress upon you, we already do. Are you ready? I am ready. And, and by the way, I'm saying we have been inching towards the metric system <laughs> for decades. I see what you did there. Okay, so first of all, we had metric money Whoa. from the start. Okay, this sounds like Bitcoin. I'm not sure if I'm in. <laughs> I have some Bitcoin, some crypto. It's all metric. The start. Okay, this sounds like Bitcoin. I'm not sure if I'm in. <laughs> How many pennies in a dime? How many dimes in a dollar? Yeah, all right. it's base 10, yeah. It's, mm. it's base 10 all the way. At the time, England was using pounds and shillings and pence. And, uh, and, and, I, pence still, and I still don't know how that system works <laughs> to this day. And I'm a full grown adult who thought about it. Okay. So, so first we had metric money, put okay. that in the bank. Okay. All right. What else do we have? Oh, our photography has largely been metric from the beginning. Mm. All right. There's 35 millimeter film, mm, right? You didn't measure right. that in inches, right? right? You had Dang, a 50 millimeter lens. I have a lens right here. Dang, I didn't even think about that. And I always type in, and when I bought my lenses, I always typed in millimeters and all that. Never really re realized that. Mm, he's right, he's right. Millimeter film. Right. You didn't measure that in inches, mm -mm. Right. right? You had a 50 millimeter lens. Uh, all lenses are me measured all, in All millimeters. lenses are That's measured true. in millimeters. Now, there were some film formats that were inches. There was four by five right. and eight by 10. Those are the larger formats. But most of all the others was metric. Yeah. And the okay. lenses were metric. You go to the movies, 70 millimeter wide, you know, uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, 1968, in 70 millimeters. Mm. No one was freaking out that you saw MM next to the 70. Right. Okay? Right. Okay. So, photography was in. All right. What else was in? Oh, our medicine has been metric. Oh. Like, practically forever. All right, so you have, you know, it's one cc. That's what I don't understand. Like, we have metric stuff, but when we're in school, unless outside of science class, everything else is, you know, imperial. That's why I don't understand because all of like main things that we do and see, like, it's not being taught to us. You know, like you mentioned with the medicine. Everybody that had a prescription or got some over-the-counter medicine and stuff like that before, but come on now. Like, somebody get the medicine and they see a MM or something like what they going to think? Or ML? What they going to think? They, oh, you know, this how much I... Like, that make... Dang. That make me... I just thought, of, like, we've been measuring in that for ever. Especially, like, if you take cough syrup, it's in milliliters. Dang, but they don't teach us that much about unless in science, like you mentioned earlier. Science, you're gonna get you're gonna get both, you know. Practically forever. All right. So you have, you know, it's one cc of some drug or one it's mm -hmm. what is a cc? It's a cubic centimeter. That's what a cc is. No doctor gives you a shot of an ounce. Uh, <laughs> pen, penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> I need an ounce of penicillin stat, doctor. You're going to kill him. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> He's already dead, Jim. He's already dead. <laughs> so, so medical dosing has been metric, mm -hmm. like, forever. Okay. 
uh, add to that our nutrition labels. Yeah. I mean. Those were metric from the beginning. How many grams of fat? Oh, that's right. How many milligrams? Of, okay. But right. Right. just look on any nutrition label. It's all metric. And it's right. been that way. And no one is freaking out. And it actually has both. I know I said that in a video before, but it actually has both. Depend mm, let me depend on what you buy. This is I still I say this as a souvenir, you know, I got this drink from Sweden, you know what I'm saying? But I mean this one this one probably not gonna have both, but here it, it has both. This is just reading milliliters. Not going to lie, but uh, I don't have, I don't even have nothing around. See, I, I've been cleaning up, so I ain't got no trash or nothing. This, like I said, this is, this is my souvenir. I keep this by my desk, you know, but it just says, it just has milliliters on there, you know, that's from Sweden. That's from Sweden. But if I was to find some, you would see both Imperial and metric on that. By looking at this, Okay. Uh, how many grams this? How many grams that? So, what are, what do we have in the bank now? We got we got metric money, metric medicine, metric photography, metric um, nutrition labels. What else? Oh, we've got metric bottles of soft drink. Yeah. You've never in your life purchased a quart of Pepsi. Uh, it's a liter. Yeah, no, you haven't. It's a liter. Mm -hmm. Okay. A liter slightly more than a quart, but close enough, you know, for most purposes. But so one liter, two liter, three liter bottles of Pepsi. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, our larger volumes, non-dairy, larger mm -hmm. bottles have been metric for a long time. Okay, so for decades. It, it's funny because everything you're mentioning right now are all global commodities. Yes. Soda is global. Photography right. you, 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 is global. Good point. We're not shipping milk. That's yeah. correct. That's uh, correct. Yeah. Uh, uh, pharmaceuticals are global. Good point. It's all global stuff that you're talking okay. about. Okay. Well, 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 let me keep going. All right. Okay. I'm not, I'm not done yet. Uh -oh. One of the last things I thought would have changed okay. was the volume displacement of the pistons in an engine. Mm hmm Okay, oh, I yeah. drove a car that was a 400 cubic inch V8 engine. Wow, that's right. Nobody measures it in cubic inches anymore. Not anymore. It's, it's in liters. It's that's you, right. One liter, two liter, and that liter, if you ever wondered, is not the volume of any liquid in it. It's the volume of the cylinders Thanks. in the right. in the in the engine block itself. 4.0 liter. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's a measure of how much sort of. Uh, movement and power you're getting out of the engine. It's one of several measures you can invoke. So that's metric. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And uh, shall I keep going? Those are important things, I think. Yeah. Okay. Now we still have Fahrenheit, yes, and we still have sort of miles, and and our cooking is not really metric. So there's like three holdouts: cooking, distance. Cooking measurements, distance, temperature, and baking. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So when people say, America, you got to join us with the rest of the world with the metric system, we kind of already have. A. B, I don't, I'm, I don't feel, even as a scientist speaking, I don't feel some great urge to give up Fahrenheit and feet and inches. I'll tell you why. When you visit another country, um, part of what it is to sort of blend in and to fit in and to learn is to learn what their customs are mm -hmm. in america jack we use fahrenheit and just yeah, deal with it that's okay right. that's just what we do you know i mean you know i still go by everything like you mentioned when it comes to distance cook and i still use those things i'm not gonna lie when i first got my car i don't know if it was my car or my wife's car but I can actually change to where I can see how many miles per hour is going or kilometers is going. I believe kilometers. Yeah. Or kilometers. I think it's kilometers that my car can go how fast. So I was thinking the whole time, this had to be my wife's car. I was thinking the whole time, like I'm going 60 miles per hour. I'm going 60 miles per hour, but I'm like, no, we're going, we're going super slow to be 60 miles per hour. The whole time, I didn't hit the button and changed it, and it was killing me uh, kilometers the whole time. 
it was how many kilometers it was instead of uh, miles per hour. Like, I mean, cars, because they're global, like you mentioned, that's another thing to add, you know, automobiles, which I'm sure we already know, but I just thought I'd point that out because I it caught me by surprise. I thought something was wrong with the car. Why is it going 60 this slow? But it was kilometers. So, and I'm I, yeah, I'm sure if y'all, I'm no, I don't know if y'all have the same where you can get miles per hour in kilometers, but I know... Yeah, my art, the cars that me and my wife have, they do, which I think is cool. You know, if I was to ship my car to Europe, I could definitely get uh drive down there just because it can go in kilometers. So that's interesting. In, that. in America, Jack, we use Fahrenheit and just deal with it. That's okay? Right. I mean, you know, I'm you not going over to my neighbors and trying to borrow two hundred and thirty six milliliters of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> to the neighborhood. Do you have 236 <laughs> milliliters of sugar? Hey, give me Slam the door back in his face. <laughs> exactly. Give me a cup of sugar. <laughs> uh. So anyway, I think we come a long way. So we're inching and maybe dairy comes next. I don't know. Um, I kind of like the fact that you know, eggs come in a dozen. A dozen is a nice historical baker's quantity. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yes. And so I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Let mm-hmm. me remind you that we had a mission to Mars where the engineers were using the imperial system and the scientists were using the metric system. And there was a point where two calculations had to come together mm. and their, their units were not converted to match. Wow. And so the propulsion that was put into play to go into orbit around Mars was the wrong thrust. And it basically overshot Mars completely. Mm. And so we lost, you know, $100 million spacecraft because of not because two systems didn't match it's not because we weren't on metric it's that because the system was not turned into a common um a common set of measures Mm -hmm. that that's why had that been done we wouldn't have had the problem even if the engineers continued to use feet and and inches wow that that right well okay that that was egg on our face mm -hmm. that was that looked bad especially for nasa Without a doubt, <laughs> yeah, you know all I mean? that money yeah. too. It's mm-hmm. like uh, Mister by that much, <laughs> <laughs> almost. It doesn't count. Yeah, if, exactly. if you're trying to reach Not a planet, no, right. it doesn't count. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, that's awful. Yeah. All right. So, so I just wanted to say we're, we're inching towards the metric system, and we're there in ways you probably hadn't thought about. Mm. And so that's my little bit of that. There it is once again, Chuck. You heard mm-hmm. it here, and I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, as always. Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's his name. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I was saying that grass, eh? Star Talk. I need to check out some more from this. This was actually good. It was funny. These guys were funny. You know, I like the fact that they brought some humor in there, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, everything. Well, I mean, as an American, don't I don't realize or we didn't don't realize that we're using the metric system that often because why everything is global. You know, he made some key points about uh, miles or distance, uh, cooking, baking, those different type of things, you know, those, you know, in temperature, those type of things, you know, we don't we ain't going to be like, oh, let's change because we those are things we're just used to accustomed to. But everything else. Has always been either or, you know, you get to we get two options for most of the things for us to understand. But this was good. I appreciate you guys for sending me this recommendation. Like I said, love the humor, love the star talk. You know, y'all finna make me out here try to be a scientist out here and stuff like that, man. But that's all I have. Y'all hit that subscribe button and y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.